The U.S. Space Agency retired its space shuttle fleet in 2011. And since then, the only way American astronauts can get to the International Space Station is through its old rival, Russia. But the cost of the ride will triple to more than $70 million by 2016. NASA is encouraging private companies to develop a reliable and affordable commercial space transport system. CCTV's Ikenda McKehi has more. It was one of the last three shuttles to take flight before NASA retired its shuttle fleet in July 2011. A decision which left Russia's Soyuz spacecraft with a monopoly on space crew transport to the International Space Station. And NASA with one astronomical bill. Stocking confirmed. Congratulations, guys. Uh, you did well. But NASA hopes to change that by the year 2017. Soon, private American companies will be transporting our astronauts to the station on spacecraft launched from U.S. soil. NASA recently solicited American industry to develop so-called space taxis, commercially operated transport vehicles to ferry astronauts to and from the International Space Station. That, I think, is going to be the breakthrough for the commercial space sector, the fact that it'll be a, um, a gateway that didn't exist before. It, you know, it's a fine idea. I would like to see the money spread out a little more. We are seeking to be the, the lowest price launch vehicle in the world. Lowest cost to orbit, lowest cost to the moon, and lowest cost beyond. This is a notional rendering of our space taxi combined with a large rocket that takes it to orbit. Nearly a decade ago, long before NASA issued a call for a private space ferry, a small Mojave, California-based aerospace corporation, Interorbital Systems, began developing its own space taxi concept. Our company's been working on this for, uh, for 10, 15 years. It's possible that we may be ready, uh, if we have the proper funding, before the uh, NASA vehicle is ready to supply the space station. The idea is to significantly reduce the cost of space travel. Currently, it costs more than $60 million a seat for NASA astronauts to hitch a ride on the Russian Soyuz space capsule. Compare that to just $5 million a seat on Crew Module 1. We are seeking to be the, the lowest price launch vehicle in the world. Lowest cost to orbit, lowest cost to the moon, and lowest cost beyond. While the company says funding uncertainties remain, it believes sometimes big rewards come in small payloads. Yekenta McGehee, CCTV, Mojave, California.